it's the, the next big thing. 13 new university technical colleges are to be opened across England as part of the next wave of government-funded schools. The aim is to develop the scientists, engineers and designers of the future. Katie Razzle's been to Walsall in the West Midlands, where they've already got one up and running, hoping to revive the black country's engineering heritage. The start of week five for pupils at the new Black Country University Technical College. OK, everybody, can you get your glasses on? Everybody got their boots and overalls on? Let's get down to the workshop and get started. Forget a school day, theirs is modelled on a working one. 8.30 to 5pm, Monday to Thursday, only an hour less on Fridays. The college is focused on engineering and science. Let's get you started. Have you started it? You've got your thumb in there. They don't seem your average teenagers. When I'm older, I want to be a mechanic. I want to be an aerodynamic engineer for Formula One. I want to be an aerospace engineer. When I leave school, I want to be a Formula One engineer. Anybody going to give me what a hacksaw is in German? The college teaches what's called an integrated curriculum. This is an engineering class, but they're learning German too. Not just because the college is backed by the engineering firm Siemens, but because the language is important in the world of engineering. What about a drill? These sorts of colleges have existed in Germany for years, producing skilled workers for industry. Britain, they say, needs to get its edge back. I would expect all of the pupils from this college to be able to walk away and walk straight into jobs. I think they're going to be prepared so well for industry that industry will be taking them away from us. He's talking about a plane flying due north and then west. In the Year 10's maths class, they're talking aircraft. University Technical Colleges, or UTCs, cater for 14 to 19-year-olds. This one in Walsall is only the second in England. There's concentration you don't always find in a classroom, whether they're building computer programs to trial on robots or turning lathes. Unions complain the government's making children specialise too early, but these pupils have job plans, unlike many of their peers. And no one else really knows, apart from pop star, <laughs> but, you know. Uh, you know you want to be an aeronautical engineer. Yeah, I want to wear complaints. Well, this is education, though not as I know it. I'll have you know that just after only a few hours in this college, what I'm doing right now, we're about to do, is face off a component. All the metal used in this workshop has been donated by the companies backing the college, and all of it can only be worked on industrial lathes like this one. There are reminders of those investors everywhere. 40 companies in total who get a say in what's taught, though only one's on the uniform. And it seems are our major sponsor partner um, uh, in terms of uh, industry, uh, but we have a lot of other companies uh, helping us define the curriculum that we, we're offering our young people. And you don't think that might make it too narrow, in a sense? Well, no, because we, we obviously have to take into account and want to take into account the broader offer as well. It's not all work, work, work here, though that is the focus. And with more UTCs opening next year, there are criticisms. Resources are being taken away from pupils in more mainstream education. More importantly for these students, in a region with high unemployment, will there be any jobs at the end of it?